If you ask me for the most important tradition in the US, my answer will be always Thanksgiving. It is amazing to see how people get together with their families to celebrate and eat. For Kara and I, who lived in the United States for a couple of years, it became a tradition that we celebrate with our friends, since none of us had our family nearby. This time, now from Chile, we decided to cook a complete Thanksgiving dinner with all the versatility and the possibilities of the Cabri H1. One thing that always surprised me is that it is usually cooked in two days since uh, it is a lot of food and in the Cabri H1 you can do everything in one go. So we are going to show you how to achieve it. Today we will show you the Thanksgiving turkey and gravy and the next week we will show you the rest of the side. It all starts by turning on your Kevry H1 in the classic mode, approximately at 320 Fahrenheit. We already salted and brined the turkey the night before, I love dry brining, so now we only add pepper. In order for it to cook evenly and look amazing on our table, we need to tie it up. We start by folding the wings under the turkey so that the breast rests on them. Next, we thread a long piece of cotton or kitchen string through the neck bone and taking both ends, we will go around the sides of the breast and the edge of the thighs. Finally, we will cross the string to the tip of the thighs where the bones stick out and tie a knot to keep them together. It looks pretty, right? Well, it's not bad for a Chilean guy that started doing this a couple years ago. I'm, I'm proud of it. Leave the turkey in a baking dish, breast side up, and transfer it to the Cavri H1 with the legs toward the end of the oven. The turkey will be ready between two and a half to four hours in the Cavri H1, depending on the weight and size. This one is a small, so it will take less than three hours. The secret is to use the thermometer and to get it to the perfect internal temperature, which we will get into that in a moment. While the bird is cooking, we prepare the gravy. That's the sauce that usually goes with the turkey. It is awesome. The base of our gravy needs two onions cut into large pieces, a whole stalk of celery cut into cubes, and a large carrot. Also, dice it. To add more flavor and not waste any of the turkey, we're gonna cut the neck and put all everything that comes inside. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. You can use chicken bones, wings, or whatever you usually use to add flavor to your soups. We begin by adding oil, salt, and finish stirring. In the Curry H1, you can cook the whole turkey and all the sides, but you have to choose wisely the right utensils. Well, that's my bad. Obviously, in this case, a baking tray was preferable to a frying pan with such a high handle. We transfer it to a tray and now we put it into a lower rack of the cavity for about 15 minutes. After a few minutes, and to put a special signature on this dish, uh, I'm gonna use dehydrated mushrooms. This will give like that very special umami flavor. Check the temperature of the turkey every 30 minutes or so. If we have around 150 Fahrenheit in the breast, we are ready. Now take out the turkey and this flavor base of our gravy. Now the turkey needs to rest for 20 to 30 minutes. So Kara brings me the rest of the sides that will be cooked in the H1 and which will be in the second part of this special. Now we need to thicken the gravy, so we add equal parts of liquid butter and flour to a pot. We mix it and bring it to the H1 to cook. Meanwhile, we strain the gravy pan and reserve the liquid. Finally, our braised and flavorful broth is incorporated into the pot with our flour and butter mixture. At the beginning, it's gonna be a little lumpy, but by adding a little more of the broth and stirring constantly with the hand mixer, you should achieve a thick and a smooth consistency. We taste, adjust salt and pepper, and return to the H1 for a few minutes to thicken. When it has consistency, it will be ready for our family or friends' dinner. The second part of this special will have 
all the sides that you see on our table. Mashed potatoes, grilled and glazed carrots, cornbread and a stuffing. It's gonna be so good. Everything to complete the best Thanksgiving dinner you will ever see in your life. Made in the Cavendish one in a couple of hours and in a single load of charcoal. See you in the second part. I'm already hungry.